As technology advances and the jungle becomes less dense, something that used to be considered a made-up story is now undeniable truth. The discovery of an ancient city which was hidden in plain sight has caused people to question what they knew about the Amazon rainforest and its history. People are wondering what other secrets could be hidden in the Amazon and what scary truths will be uncovered as more is explored. According to Graham Hancock, these civilizations built enormous earthworks and pyramids that are scattered throughout the jungle. The discovery of the city has shaken what we thought we knew about the Amazon, and we're on the brink of a new era of exploration. Since this discovery of complex societies with advanced engineering skills and rich cultural practices in the heart of the jungle, nothing is as it seems, and the line between what's real and what's not is very thin. So recently, Joe Rogan brought attention to the discovery of a large city in the Amazon rainforest. Rogan talked about the discovery with Graham Hancock. The discovery of this city is significant because it challenges the notion that the Amazon rainforest is a pristine, untouched wilderness. For years, it has been thought that the Amazon rainforest was a place of little human influence, but the discovery of this city suggests that humans have been living in and shaping the rainforest for centuries. I think this is one of the most significant discoveries of our time. We've always thought of the Amazon as a pristine wilderness, but this discovery shows that it's been a place of human influence and culture for centuries," Rogan said. The city's discovery was made possible by the use of LiDAR technology, which allowed researchers to see through the dense vegetation of the rainforest and create a detailed map of the area. LiDAR works by using lasers to measure the distance between the sensor and the ground, which can then be used to create a 3D map of the terrain. This technology has revolutionized the study of the Amazon rainforest and has allowed researchers to make many new discoveries. The Amazon is a vast region in South America that covers approximately 6.7 million square kilometers. It spans across nine countries, including Brazil, Peru, Colombia, Ecuador, Venezuela, Bolivia, Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. The region is dominated by the Amazon rainforest, which is the largest rainforest in the world. For many years, there was a popular story about a lost civilization in the Amazon jungle. It was said to be an ancient empire filled with riches and forts. This tale attracted lots of explorers and adventurers who went in search of it, but unfortunately, many of them lost their lives. Spanish explorers were the first to look for it in the rainforest, and they were followed by others who believed they would find a civilization as great as the Aztecs and Incas. Many explorers gave the lost civilization different names like El Dorado or City of Z, but they were never able to find it. As a result, people started thinking it was just a made-up story, but now it turns out that the explorers were right all along. Recent satellite images and flyovers show more than 200 enormous geometric earthworks in the upper Amazon basin near the border between Brazil and Bolivia. These shapes include circles, squares, and other forms that make up a complex network of avenues, ditches, and enclosures that were built long before Christopher Columbus arrived in the Americas. Some of them date back to 200 AD, while others were built as recently as 1283. Scientists have been using mapping techniques to find the earthworks in the Amazon basin, and they think there might be around 2,000 more structures hidden beneath the jungle canopy. These earthworks are evidence of ancient societies that have now disappeared. According to the journal Antiquity, which has published the research, the structures were uncovered when people cleared the forest for agriculture, and they indicate a sophisticated pre-Columbian monument-building society. The article adds, This hitherto unknown people constructed earthworks of precise geometric plan connected by straight orthogonal roads. The geoglyph culture stretches over a region of more than 250 kilometers across and exploits both the floodplains and the uplands. We have so far seen no more than a tenth of it. The structures were made up of a group of trenches, about 36 feet wide and several feet deep, surrounded by banks that were up to three feet high. Some of the structures also had low mounds around them, which contained ceramics, charcoal, and stone tools. Experts believe that the structures were used for a variety of purposes, such as fortifications, homes, and ceremonies. It is estimated that they could have supported a population of up to 60,000 people, which is more than the population of many medieval cities in Europe. Denise Sean, an anthropologist at the Federal University of Para in Brazil and co-author of the study, says that the findings have challenged the belief that the soil in the upper Amazon region was too poor to sustain large-scale agriculture. She told National Geographic, We found this picture is wrong, and there is a lot more to discover in these places. It's never-ending. Every week we find new structures. 
A lot of the mountains had a uniform shape with a slant towards the north, leading experts to believe that they may have been used for astronomical purposes. The researchers were also amazed to discover that the earthworks in both floodplains and uplands were similar in style, indicating that they were created by the same culture. In Amazonian archaeology, you always have this idea that you find different peoples in different ecosystems, said Sean. So it was odd to have a culture that would take advantage of different ecosystems and expand over such a large region. The first geometric shapes in the Amazon basin were discovered in 1999. But it is only now that the true extent of these settlements is becoming clear. Thanks to satellite imagery and the clearing of the forest, more cities are being revealed. Some anthropologists believe that the construction of these earthworks, which required advanced engineering canals and roads, is just as impressive as the pyramids in Egypt. The recent discoveries in the upper Amazon region are similar to the findings that were made earlier in the Zingu region to the south. In the Zingu region, experts found a group of connected villages known as garden cities. These cities were built between 800 and 1600 and included houses, moats, and palisades. These revelations are exploding our perceptions of what the Americas really look like before the arrival of Christopher Columbus, said David Grant, author of The Lost City of Z, a book about an attempt in the 1920s to find signs of Amazonian civilizations. The discoveries are challenging long-held assumptions about the Amazon as a Hobbesian place where only small primitive tribes could have ever existed, and about the limits the environment placed on the rise of early civilizations. The recent discoveries in the Amazon basin are also proving Percy Fawcett, the explorer who inspired the Lost World by Conan Doyle, right. Fawcett went on such an expedition to search for the city of Z, but his team disappeared, leaving behind a mystery that has yet to be solved. For a long time, most scientists thought that the jungle was too tough for people to live in anything but small roaming tribes. But now, it looks like the conquistadors who talked about seeing cities that glistened in white were actually telling the truth. Unfortunately, these explorers also brought diseases that killed off many of the native people. As a result, the jungle was able to take over and hide all signs of civilization. Also, it is important to note that the Amazon rainforest as we know today did not exist 15,000 years ago. Instead, the region was dominated by a mix of savannas, forests, and wetlands. It was only over time that the forest spread and came to cover much of the region. Despite these differences, there is evidence to suggest the ancient peoples of the Amazon were highly skilled at adapting to their environments. For example, excavations of ancient settlements in the region have revealed that people made use of a wide variety of food sources, including fish, shellfish, wild game, and a variety of fruits, nuts, and other plant foods. In addition to their hunting and gathering activities, it's also believed that ancient Amazonian cultures also engaged in agriculture, albeit on a small scale. The people of the Amazon were also highly skilled at creating and using tools, as evidenced by the wide variety of stone, bone, and wood artifacts that have been found at archaeological sites. These tools were used for a wide range of activities, from hunting and fishing to woodworking and fiber arts. Another important aspect of Amazonian culture was the use of art and ritual. Many ancient Amazonian cultures created intricate and beautiful pottery, textiles, and other forms of art. They also developed complex religious beliefs and practices, with many cultures placing a great emphasis on ancestor worship and the use of hallucinogenic plants in the religious ceremonies. In addition, archaeologists and anthropologists pieced together some of the ways that people lived in the Amazon 8,000 years ago. The people who lived in the Amazon rainforest 8,000 years ago were semi-nomadic, moved from place to place in search of food and resources. They lived in small, decentralized communities, with each group consisting of a few families. These communities were organized around kinship ties, with each family unit consisting of a few related individuals. One of the primary ways that these people survived was through hunting and gathering. They hunted animals like deer, tapirs, peccaries using primitive weapons like spears and bows and arrows. They also fished in rivers and streams, using nets or simple traps to catch fish and other aquatic animals. In addition to hunting and fishing, these people gathered a wide variety of plant foods. The rainforest was home to an incredible diversity of plant species, and these Amazonians had a deep knowledge of which plants were edible and which were not. They collected fruits, nuts, roots, and other plant parts, using them for food, medicine, and other purposes. One of the most important plants in their diet was the manioc root. Manioc, also known as cassava, is a starchy root that can be eaten raw or cooked. It was a staple food in many parts of the Amazon today, and it was likely an important food source for people 8,000 years ago. To prepare manioc, the root was peeled, grated, and then squeezed to remove the toxic juices. The resulting pulp was dried and then ground into a flour, 
which could be used to make bread, porridge, or other foods. In addition to their subsistence activities, these Amazonians engaged in a range of cultural practices. They had their own languages, religious beliefs, and social customs, which varied from group to group. They created art and music, told stories, and passed on their traditions from one generation to the next. One of the most striking aspects of life in the Amazon rainforest 5,000 years ago was the incredible diversity of plant and animal life. The Amazon rainforest was home to an estimated 40,000 plant species and 2.5 million insect species, as well as countless birds, mammals, reptiles, and fish. This rich diversity played a central role in the daily lives of the people who lived there. One of the most important aspects of Amazonian culture 5,000 years ago was agriculture. Archaeological evidence suggests that the people in the Amazon rainforest practiced agriculture as early as 8,000 years ago and had developed sophisticated techniques for cultivating a wide range of crops. Some of the crops that were grown included corn, beans, cassava, and squash, as well as various fruits and nuts. Another key aspect of life in the Amazon rainforest 5,000 years ago was hunting and fishing. The Amazon rainforest was home to a rich array of wildlife, including jaguars, monkeys, tapirs, and capybaras, as well as a wide variety of fish and other aquatic animals. Hunting and fishing were important for both subsistence and cultural reasons and likely played a central role in the social and economic lives of many Amazonian communities. Social organization in Amazonian communities 5,000 years ago varied widely depending on the specific culture in question. However, many communities were organized around extended families or kinship groups, with different families sharing resources and working together to cultivate crops and hunt fish. In some cases, larger political organizations formed, with chiefs or other leaders exerting authority over multiple communities. Religion also played an important role in Amazonian culture 5,000 years ago. Many Amazonian cultures had complex religious beliefs that were intimately tied to the natural world. For example, some cultures believed that particular plants or animals had spiritual significance and used these in religious ceremonies or rituals. Other cultures believed the existence of supernatural beings or spirits that could help or harm human beings. That's it for today. Subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell.